a warrior of an enigmatic and windswept disposition, whose armour, dented and coated in travel dust, could not detract from his piercing gaze and ruddy hand, which led some who saw him to suppose a dark secret, a past he was fleeing from, or a mound of treasure he was sworn to protect until death. In actuality, only part of this was true. The knight errant was indeed a skilled fighter, and years of travel in both good company and bad had conditioned him to never keep his sword out of reach. Put simply, he was a knight from High Rock, born into the nobility of Daggerfell. His nobility had granted him access to an experienced master at arms and a great variety of weapons with which to train, and thus, when the more tedious aspects of his education had been concluded for the day, he trained in the yard until the sun went down. He was caught in a sort of limbo, beholden to a society to which he owed his wealth, status and privilege, yet finding its traditions and conventions to be stifling. When he was knighted then, he resolved to emulate the feats of those Breton warriors of old who established High Rock as a free kingdom. He would travel Tamriel in search of the adventures he had so craved as a child. Years of doing just that had served to greatly change his perspective. He had not found any climactic quest, a crowning feat fit for a fable, but instead he had found people struggling to etch an identity out of the unforgiving surface of Tamriel. People whose lives were tied to the same plot of land on which they were born, upon which they would likely die. He first dismissed this as a patronising eccentricity, but he began to help people in need as he came across them, finding the act of making people's lives just that little bit easier, far more rewarding than roaming far and wide. He travelled with a caravan of traders across the Alakir Desert to protect them from brigands. He defended a small village in High Rock from bandits, looking to claim the destitute villagers' harvest for themselves, and did so until his shield was splintered, his sword full of notches, and the offending bandits lay dead at his feet. These experiences had served, just as much as his rigorous training in his adolescence, to make him a formidable foe. He cut quite the figure. His armour was weather-beaten, and he looked like a knight down on his luck, but formidable too, his hand resting lightly on his sword, with the studded nonchalance of a man who knew how to use it. His travels brought him to Skyrim, to attempt to traverse the upheaval of civil war, and the extreme weather. The stat spread I've decided to go for for this build is 45% health, 45% stamina, and 10% magicka. The health and stamina comes with the territory, and the magicka is for healing yourself in the midst of combat. Our build isn't a mage by any stretch of the imagination, but the natural Breton affinity with magic, plus his intelligence and dedication, has allowed him to master simple healing spells, though without as much training as traditional magic users. The main skills for this build are two-handed and heavy armour, with secondary skills of block and restoration. The gear this build will be using is the Elite Knight Heavy Armour from the Elite Knight for Special Edition mod. And for your weapon, you'll be using the Zweihander from the same mod. In terms of RP friendly questlines, the main questline, the Companions questline and the Civil War questline, on whichever side you see fit, are good ones, as well as the Bard's College. So that's about it for this build, I do hope you enjoyed it. It may not be particularly intricate in terms of playstyle, but I wanted to find the very best Night Simon mod I could and make a build from it. I really wanted to do this concept of the Wandering Knight. I have been on a bit of a hiatus from making videos for the past month, but I should be back now, I think, making videos with a bit more regularity. So I hope to see you soon with another video.